Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can always follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic, or you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Uh, this video is about a nice new feature in FL Studio 20. Uh, basically, it's called Arrangements, and it's a really nice feature that I think can help you, you know, with different arrangements obviously of a project file you can have different formats of the same beat so basically this is like a beat I was working on actually I did recently uh, about a week ago I believe but um I'll just show you how you can do it um, if you notice basically the arrangements are like you can have like the chorus like this beat actually has a little intro as you can see here it has a 16 bar intro uh, and then you know a chorus here 16 bars um, actually 8 because I'm doing double time and then you know your standard 16 of uh, bar verse but what I can do let's say I have a, a reason to have like different you know uh, arrangements of this track let's say I wanted the uh, intro just to be 8 bars or I wanted certain instruments to be um, you know within this first eight bars so let me I'll just play what I have this is actually the you know original track that I produced this is um the first eight bars here my fault I got a lot of processing going on here so that's probably why you hear a little stutter let me just turn that off so I had that as an eight bar and let's say I want like these pianos to be a part of the of that intro um let me undo that so this is the whole beat let me zoom in this is the whole beat the whole arrangement here I got some automation down here and you know it's structured a certain way so let's say you want to change the intro or change the chorus or change the verse whatever ways you want whatever you want as far as like you know like a 12 bar verse or even just a four bar course and then have like a pre-course you can always this feature is awesome um and it's a new feature in fl studio 20 version 20 and you know you, you of course you know if you bought the software you get um updates for free so um so for instance this little area that says arrangement notice when i hover on it it says current arrangement right so when you hit that drop down you can clone the arrangement or you can rename the one that you're currently on and you can add one so let's just clone the arrangement and notice it says arrangement dash two you can call it whatever you want then ask you to accept or decline or close so let's accept so what's cool let's say I want just the pianos in that first eight bars and I'll get rid of that other uh, like pad sound I had so So you get the idea. So that's arrangement too. And I actually had um, a reason to do this for uh, some music I was making uh, for a different project. So I had to change the ending, but I really like I really like how the beat was formatted. So for instance, I had to change the ending, and I was like, man, I don't want to have to go to file save as and have two separate projects. And that's what this arrangement um, option gives you. Now, all I have to do is go back to the first arrangement, and this is what my original beat is. So this is very helpful when you want to make different, um, you know, styles or different arrangements of your beat, like shorter verse, like I said, or shorter chorus. And it's really easy and simple. Um, I forgot what add one is. I think you can, but, you know, you can always just take out whatever. This is arrangement two. Let's say I wanted to change the ending to 
whatever. I, I don't remember what that was there. Yeah, I can end like that and just add the uh, kick at the end. Um, the kick with the 808. So this is a different arrangement, and it, whenever you export this arrangement, it doesn't it it exports whatever's on the screen. So let's say I wanted to export this version. You know, you go to File Export, and then we'll go back to the other arrangement. You can do File Export, and it'll export this arrangement as well. So you can have tons of different arrangements of the same beat in the same project, which is a really cool feature. And I use some type of uh, a new file type for that. But I thought it's a really nice feature that can be helpful when you have ideas when you're working on music and you're like, you know, you just want to try different things, things out, but not having to have different files. And also probably can save you computer space, too, if I think about it. But uh, just experimenting here, I think, uh, let's see, let's go to arrangement two and add one. Okay, so basically what it is, you're adding another arrangement, and this arrangement is blank. So when you add one, um, you know, you can plop, you know, whatever, whatever patterns you want. You're adding up entire blank arrangement notice there's no other sounds here so that's what that means you're just adding one arrangement that is from scratch so I usually don't use that I just go to clone and you know you'll clone what you're looking at basically so if I hit clone here it's gonna clone what I just created which <laughs> probably doesn't make musical sense uh, let's see watch this clone arrangement for accept and it's the same thing so you get the idea uh, it's a really nice feature. Uh, you can always rename it to whatever. Um, what other options it got you here? You can merge. I do like that. Um, you can merge this with the source arrangement. So this can get really tricky because you can change the position. Basically, you can merge it with a different arrangement. So what it's asking me. I want to merge arrangement four with the original arrangement. I can insert it, merge, or replace it. So that option I probably would stay away from. Uh, I guess there there is reasons why you can do that uh, to minimize. Let's say you like what you did, and you like both arrangements, and you you just wanted to put them together. That makes sense. But uh, you can always just you know make it the way you want on one arrangement but you know it's just another feature that can be helpful when you have different ideas or a different format of the beat that you want to make so uh, just wanted to share that with you it's really simple really straightforward it's always here um, I think it's available by default when you open FL studio if it's not here you can always just go to view you know and select whatever um, actually I think it's in here somewhere toolbars uh, hmm it's somewhere in there it's a quick way of doing that and I totally forgot project render audio file options I think it's under view yeah yeah I think it's under under view so anyway uh, if it's not available you know you can always uh, search under view or these options here because uh, let's see open quick audio render of course that's the help thing uh, I think it's here. Options. Tools. Huh. It slips on my mind right now, but it's usually available by default. Yeah, it's usually available by default. It was there when I updated it. So if it's not, you can always, you know, check in view or check in this drop down. 
Um, basically, you can change this whole control panel, and I think that's th there as well, where you can um, engage this to be um, present on the <laughs> transport control. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a dope, powerful feature. It's easy to get to. So hopefully that helps you. Again, it's DJ Fanatic Beats. You can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic. Spell P H A N A T I C or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. And uh, yeah, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. And uh, hopefully this will, you know, give you just, you know, knowledge where you can, you know, have different, um, you know, arrangements of your beat. So yeah, keep making dope music. You know, feel free to just keep exploring musically and, you know, in your software because. You know, this software is just basically an extension, you know, of your creativity. It's an extension of your ideas, and it shouldn't be a crutch. It should help you. So, yeah. But anyway, let me let me cut it short. And uh, again, yeah, appreciate y'all. Make dope music. All right, peace.